Number 10. A matchup between rising bantamweight contenders Cody Garbrandt and John Lineker was scheduled for UFC Fight Night 83. Just six days before the fight, John Lineker pulled out of the fight due to a dengue fever. Augusto Mendez stepped in on six days notice to face Cody Garbrandt on the main card, where in the fight, Cody Garbrandt finished him by TKO in the first round. This fight would have likely been the fight of the year, but it failed to materialize. I hope we see this fight in 2017. Number 9. A matchup between Michael Bisping and Gegard Mousasi was originally scheduled to be the main event at UFC Fight Night 84. When Anderson Silva was cleared to fight again, the UFC reshuffled the card, matching Gegard Mousasi up with Talis Laites and Anderson Silva with Michael Bisping. Both fighters won their fights by a unanimous decision. Both Michael Bisping and Gegard Mousasi have great striking skills and I hope we get to see this fight in 2017. Number 8. A matchup between Robbie Lawler and Donald Cerrone was scheduled for UFC 205. It had fight fans filled with joy and excitement, but it didn't last very long. Just a few days after the announcement, Robbie Lawler pulled out of the card due to needing more time to prepare for the fight and was replaced with Calvin Gastelum. In the end, Calvin Gastelum would miss weight and the fight would be cancelled. This fight is a fight fan's dream come true as it would be an all-out war. I hope we get to see this in 2017. Number 7. A matchup between Anderson Silva and Uriah Hall was scheduled for UFC 198. It was a matchup that many fans were looking forward to as it would have been a great display of striking skills between two high level strikers. Just four days before the fight, Anderson Silva pulled out of the fight due to requiring a surgery to remove his gallbladder. As a result, Uriah Hall was removed from the card. It would be amazing to see both fighters compete inside the octagon, hopefully in 2017. Number 6. A matchup between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Tony Ferguson was scheduled for the main event of UFC on Fox 19. This fight would have decided the next number one contender for the UFC lightweight belt. Two weeks before the fight, Tony Ferguson pulled out from the card due to a lung issue and was replaced with newcomer Daryl Hotcher, where in the fight, Khabib Nurmagomedov won by TKO in the second round. With no clear number one contender in the UFC lightweight division, both fighters will likely face each other soon. Number 5. A rematch between Luke Rockhold and Jacare Souza was scheduled for the main event of UFC Fight Night 101. In their first fight, Luke Rockhold defeated Jacare Souza by a unanimous decision, winning the Strikeforce middleweight title at Strikeforce Barnett vs Kharitanov. Leading up to UFC Fight Night 101, Luke Rockhold pulled out of the fight due to a sprained ACL. The UFC decided to remove Jacare Souza from the card as well, and Robert Whittaker vs Derek Brunson was promoted as the main event. Both of these fighters will likely meet in 2017 to decide the number one contender for the UFC middleweight title. Number 4. A rematch between Fabrizio Verdum and King Velasquez was scheduled for the main event of UFC 196. In their first fight at UFC 188, Fabrizio Verdum submitted King Velasquez by a guillotine choke in the third round, winning the UFC heavyweight title. Leading up to UFC 196, Cain Velasquez pulled out of the fight due to suffering a back injury and was replaced with Stipe Miocic. Just a day later, Fabrizio Verdum also announced that he would be pulling out of the fight due to an injury. Both Johnny Hendricks and Steven Thompson were promoted to the main event and the card was changed into UFC Fight Night 82. Both Fabricio Verdum and Cain Velasquez were scheduled to face again at UFC 207, where just a week before the fight, Cain Velasquez was removed from the event by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, saying he is unfit to compete. Hopefully we get to see this fight happen in 2017. Number 3. A rematch between Daniel Cormier and Anthony Johnson was scheduled for the main event of UFC 206. In their first fight at UFC 187, Daniel Cormier submitted Anthony Johnson by a rare naked choke in the third round, becoming the new UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. Anthony Johnson put together three first round knockouts of Ryan Bader, Jimmy Manua and Glover Teixeira and was ready to face Daniel Cormier again. Leading up to UFC 206, Daniel Cormier pulled out of the fight due to a groin injury. Some fights were offered to Anthony Johnson but he decided to wait for Daniel Cormier to recover and fight at a later date. The co-main event fight between Max Holloway and Anthony Pettis got promoted to the main event of UFC 206. Many fans are looking forward to this rematch and it will likely take place in early 2017. Number 2. A matchup between then UFC lightweight champion Rafael dos Anjos and then UFC featherweight champion Conor McGregor was scheduled to be the main event of UFC 196. Rafael dos Anjos had looked dominant as the UFC lightweight champion and had successfully defended his title against Donald Cerrone at UFC on Fox 17. On the other hand, Conor McGregor had impressively knocked out Jose Aldo in just 13 seconds to become the new UFC featherweight champion at UFC 194. This fight had everyone excited as it was a very intriguing matchup. Leading up to UFC 196, Rafael dos Anjos suffered a foot injury 
injury and was removed from the card. Nate Diaz stepped in on short notice and defeated Conor McGregor by a rear naked choke in the second round. This fight is unlikely to happen as Rafael dos Anjos has lost his UFC lightweight title and has moved away from title contention and Conor McGregor is the current UFC lightweight champion. Number 1 a rematch between Daniel Cormier and John Jones was scheduled for the main event of UFC 197. In their first fight at UFC 182, John Jones defeated Daniel Cormier by a unanimous decision, retaining his title. John Jones was involved in a hit and run accident and was stripped of his UFC light heavyweight title. Daniel Cormier won the vacant UFC light heavyweight belt against Anthony Johnson at UFC 187 and had successfully defended it against Alexander Gustafsson at UFC 192. Leading up to UFC 197, Daniel Cormier had injured his foot and was forced to pull out from the fight. He was replaced with Ovin St. Preux who would now face John Jones for the interim UFC light heavyweight title. John Jones defeated Ovin St. Preux by a unanimous decision, winning the UFC interim light heavyweight title. He next was scheduled to face Daniel Cormier in a title unification bout at UFC 200. Just two days before UFC 200, John Jones was removed from the event due to testing positive for a banned substance. Anderson Silva would step in on 48 hour notice and lose to Daniel Cormier by a unanimous decision. This rematch is one of the most anticipated fights ever as both men hate each other and have something to prove. I hope we definitely get to see this fight in 2017.